Hi Arnabi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. So can you give you a brief introduction about yourself? Yeah, sure Rohit. So first of all, thank you for calling me in your channel. So like uh, I, I was graduated in 2020 from uh, Government College of Engineering and Leather Technology that is in Kolkata, in my hometown. And then I joined a service-based company, uh, Infosys. And uh, like uh, I started my career as a digital specialist engineer and then promoted to power programmer. And currently I'm working in one of the fan company as a HD. That's nice. Also, can you tell something about your YouTube channel also? Yeah, so I have one YouTube channel that I first started. Uh, 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 that time I used to give uh, more details on how to become a power programmer at Infosys. So I have one complete uh, power programmer preparation uh, guide, all the uh, things like previous year questions. Uh, all uh, I have also some preparation sheet, that thing. And as I have recently changed uh, my career from service-based company to a product-based company, so I have some uh, videos on how, what is my preparation journey, uh, what should be the strategy, this kind of thing uh, I'm covering mainly in my YouTube channel. So I will put the link in the description. So this will help lo a lot of my audience also. Yeah, sure. So now can you tell me how you came to know about this opportunity when you are switching from service based to product based company, how you came to know about this opportunity? Yeah, so like uh, switching is uh, not that uh, like easy. Uh, because we are working in service-based company. So what I did, I used to go to company's uh, job portal. And uh, when I was like, uh, thought like I should uh, switch, what I used to do, I uh, I used to check Sorry some to company. And, so like yeah. when you thought of switching, when you're working as a power programmer in Fosys, like when a moment come, like you thought of switching to a product-based company. Yeah, so when I was actually preparing for power programming, so it has some DSA knowledge and all. So I was like quite prepared with DSA at that time also. And uh, like uh, when I com came to know that uh, mainly uh, the other product based companies are also hiring, like in this uh, two years, things have changed. Uh, like earlier, only people from TAR uh, one college used to get the chance and they used to work there. But things have changed in our days. So when I was quite prepared with DSA, so that time I thought like, uh, why not switch my uh, career and try for a good company? And that that is the time like while preparing and I was uh, uh, like more confident on DSA and there were many YouTube channels and all. Uh, there were people who were switching and those things also inspired me. So that is the time. Like I just cracked Power Programmer and say, similar time I was applying for companies. So my main thing was I used to go to their job portal and then based on the, uh, there were many job opportunities. So based on whatever suits my profile, I used to apply with my CV. I know there are like, uh, we can also apply with referral, but like uh, that time I was only from a service based company and I was working my uh, DSA. So I was not, have a good profile as well so i parallelly started like applying with my cv only oh that's nice so from that directly portaling you will get the mail test link of that OLE. Yes. yes that's nice so now can you explain all round in brief like what are yeah, the things so happening yeah, so whenever for any uh, product based company, especially for FANG, mainly there will be one testing uh, or like round, uh, you will be given uh, testing and you need to pass that. And after that, mainly there are four rounds to uh, two round will be DSA and one round will be uh, some uh, bar result and managerial and fourth round will be managerial kind of round. So for my case, there were only three rounds, two DSA and another was bar reserve come managerial round. So to be details like uh, the test link at first I got, that was mostly I would uh, say lead code medium level question. So I was able to solve them because by that time I was quite prepared. So can you tell, also, then, can you tell me also the topic, like which topic? Or yeah, so topics are, uh, one was like from graph and another was priority queue. 
and then um, uh, i had two dsa interview round uh, on the same day so in dsa interview round questions were a little uh, harder uh, like topics are from uh, graph and uh, uh, tree for the first round it was tree traversal and one graph question and for the second second round it was a linked list and uh, binary matrix searching so uh, second round was a little easier but first round was a little tough but if someone solves lead code medium level questions and graph questions have knowledge of graph then he or she can easily uh, give the answer and then like final round was uh, kind of uh, uh lld questions were asked um, uh, i won't say that for sd one round uh, lld are important but as i had some one year of experience so i was uh, asked some uh, two uh, design questions that was also from like if we go to lead code uh, there is one design section like you can find uh, lru cache design design data structure this kind of question so uh, i got uh, similar kind of question for uh, that round so overall three round a plus one oa test link yes so you got all the interview on the same day no no not same day uh, first i got the oa uh, the link that was in november 21 and once i cleared them uh, my interview schedule a lot of time after like my first interview was on february so i had to wait a lot though uh, i was able to clear and i knew that i will get the chance even i got the mail that i cleared it so but i had to wait for around 2 uh, months uh, like it uh, came to uh, february and then my final round happened in march and then in march uh, after like happening all the round after one week i got the like, offer once again congratulations for your new year yes so now like you also faced rejection while applying like in how many companies you apply from career portal and for like how many companies you got the oa link and you do you face any rejection in any company till date yeah like when uh, i was applying i applied a lot of company like uh, De deloitte oracle and uh, i used to apply even in flipkart also i got uh, referral in walmart i got referral but from there i got uh, uh, like i my cv was not selected and uh, for some companies i got that um, my cv is not selected uh, so they mailed and some company didn't even like considered uh, my profile even i got a uh, call from some startups uh, um, but they were not ready because my uh, uh, notice period is for 3 months and i also like applied in uh, another company that is coseva and i interviewed in there but uh, from there also it didn't happen and it uh, it happened like uh, in uh, november or that time so actually when i like first I, i was not able to clear coseva i understood that what is my fault and all so i had got chance to work on them as well do you also face rejection and once the time you will like finally after facing lots of rejection you will get like job in fang yeah like yeah, my cv was not to the mark la i had to work on my uh, personal yes. project yeah so like uh, when i was getting a rejection and my cv was not selecting so i started working on those uh, things like, like uh, only dsa is not uh, yes. mandatory i mean dsa is mandatory but not only we can rely on dsa when our cv shortlisting is the first step so i had to work a lot in my cv so like lots of student are prepared with dsa but one thing they like not figure out how to make resume and also one thing like how to prepare for projects like someone make full stack project machine learning project but how they frame questions so they can like give point wise answer to the interviewer and what type of question they expect from the interviewer about the project so first can you tell yeah. me about the resume like how to make a resume ats friendly yeah so for uh, this uh, i have one uh, video in my channel where i also shared my resume template so in short i can say you must uh, have some good projects 
if you are uh, not working in some development project in your current company and even if you are student you must at least have two to three projects uh, uh, on full stack things like uh, any like react is on demand one can have a project on mon stack like i have one project on mean stack and it's not only project but also live link of those projects should be there so that when they are checking uh, they can check those things also we should add our um, coding profile in our um, cv so that uh, those things are also getting uh, views when we are going for uh, good, um, uh, fan this kind of good product with companies and also all the proper uh, information should be there uh, uh, other tips like if you, you are using some uh, technologies make them using bold uh, letters this kind of some tips are from my end and also make one page uh, resume because no one will uh, entertain two or three page resume so these are the some tips and like how we can frame questions for project that we can expect that interview this type interviewer can ask this type of questions yeah so suppose we have worked on some projects and we have mentioned something in our skills so we must be sure that we are able to answer all the things for example in our project we can expect uh, interviewer may ask uh, what is your shortcoming of your project and what are you planning to do in future to thing do things so one can prepare this kind of question so anyway suppose uh, one thing is prepared obviously we have chance to uh, upgrade that thing so this is one of the question uh, interviewer can ask also if we have used something like we have used react or node js so we can expect questions from react or node js if we are using mongodb not mysql so one can ask what is the difference between mongodb and mysql why you have used mongodb not mysql why you have chosen react not angular so this kind of questions one can expect okay so now the main thing like what are the resources you used for dsa from where you prepared dsa and for lld you also told like design design pattern for lead code and for like from where you make your resume So, like, what are the complete resources you prepared for DSA resume and LLD? Yeah, so I only referred um, uh, free resources. So first thing is lead code. So I can say if anyone is going to uh, DSA, either choose lead code, code shape, or code force. Because nowadays, uh, hacker rank uh, profile is not that much entertained. Even if you have five star on hacker rank. it's a hacker rank or hacker art it's not entertaining so start either of uh, either lead code code shape or code force so i had one code uh, uh, sorry lead code profile and i used to do code in lead code mainly and like for having a proper uh, preparation i used strivers sd sheet and other than that i used to do sometime in interview bit i used to practice also for uh, practice my interview like how will be interview round uh, there is one website called pramp so i went there and i used to uh, practice pramp and also like before going to company we have to use uh, do previous year questions so that will be available in geeks for geeks so this five things uh, i mainly referred and how you prepare for cs fundamentals uh basically as i have some experience so i knew that uh, cs fundamentals won't be asked but like uh, dbms sql were there so i used to do some like uh, sql query i used to practice that is also available in lead code yes. so that thing only but other cs fundamentals are also not that much important when you have at least one year experience so now the main question everything i have done with my side so can you tell me like any advice for the student who are preparing nowadays yeah so first uh, advice will be uh, uh, first uh, start with dsa once you have good the hold in dsa then you start your preparing and don't like go and check each and every video and try to solve all the sd sheets available there just pick only one and try to solve them 
and once you are like able to solve it then always take a note so that in future when you will revise your notes will be helpful so do everything in proper organized way like first learn dsa and start practicing from lead code or you can choose code shave or code force anything but uh, within this three just start practicing and choose any of the sd sheet and uh, after that uh, keep on revising and uh, learn a uh, new thing if you have time so these are like my suggestions one more question like which topic you find very difficult and how you can tackle that like topic how you prepare for those topics like i found dynamic programming is very hard for me so like which topic you find very difficult yeah for me as well uh, like dp i found very hard and uh, when i was preparing uh, now striver has one dp series but that time uh, striver didn't have the, i mean didn't prepare that one so for dp i actually faced some problems like there were only aditya verma's uh, uh, tutorial but that is also uh, code uh, the whole code thing was not there and also there is script coding uh, thing was there so i had to like refer a lot of video and Uh, i had like uh, for other topics uh, to learn and practice it didn't took much time because there were resources yeah. available but for dp i had to spend a lot of time so i won't say it's uh, difficult but i had to spend a lot of time to understand the whole thing but in starting so, it is very difficult like someone can give up in starting but with the time it is easy yeah like at first if someone is not understanding what yeah. is happening and uh, dp is something like based on the visualization completely for other things like we know we have to do this and that, that. but dp is nothing but a visualization so uh, if you are like uh, trying to do always you have to be ready with your pen and paper and if a video is visualizing everything it will be easy so i will also say that dp is quite tough for me okay so you practice on pen and paper first recursion then memorization and then tabulation So yeah i practice check many videos try to understand all the things i did main thing is visualization thank you very yeah. much arnavi for all the information and i appreciate you you come and tell us about your experience how you switch from one company to another yeah. how you prepare for like fang company or any other top based top product based company so you cover everything thank you very much for your time Thank you all uh, you also for inviting me in your channel. Thank you thank you.